Knowing how to convert betting odds into implied probabilities can be a great way to assess whether or not it's actually worth placing a bet, but how do you do it? Well, I'm Joe for the Betting Expert Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to take betting odds and convert them to an easy to understand percentage number. So to start off with, when you look at a betting market on a bookmaker's site, you'll see betting odds in one of three different formats. Fractional, which is mostly used in the UK, decimal, which is popular around Europe or Australia, and American odds, which you can probably guess is mainly used in the United States. Fractional odds show you an amount that you could win and the amount you need to stake to win that first amount. Decimal odds show you what your total return would be for a single unit stake, and American odds, which will be shown on either plus or minus, shows either the amount you can win if you stake $100, that's the plus odds, or the amount you need to stake to win $100, that is when the odds are minus. So you could see two to one, 3.0 or plus 200, and they all mean the same thing. Stake a certain amount and you'll get a certain amount back if your bet wins. In this case, if I bet 10 pounds at two to one, 3.0 or plus 200, I'd win 20 pound profit and get my stake back, giving a return of 30 pounds. What is the implied probability of winning based on the odds? Well, this is where we're gonna get some formulas out, but don't worry, it's not that scary once you know how it all works. So starting off with fractional odds. Now, if you remember back from your maths lessons at school, a fraction is made of a numerator on top and a denominator on the bottom. So for our two to one example, two is the numerator and one is the denominator. Now the formula to use here is to take the denominator and divide it by the numerator and denominator added together. For our two to one example, that means one divided by two plus one, or one divided by three, giving 0 0.33 recurring, which if you then multiply by 100, you get 33.3% implied probability. Now for decimal odds, the calculation is one divided by those decimal odds. So again, if we take the 3.0 example, we get one divided by three, giving 33.3%. Now for American odds, as I said before, there are two possible variations, plus and minus, and it takes two different formulas to calculate the implied probability, depending on which version the odds are. For plus American odds, you take 100 and divide it by the odds plus 100. So for our plus 200 example from before, it's 100 divided by 300, which once again gives 0.33 or a 33% implied probability. Now for minus American odds, you take whatever that minus number is, convert it to a positive, and then divide that by itself plus 100. So an example might be minus 200. So here we would take 200 and divide it by 300, giving an implied probability of 66%. So here, by the way, you can also clearly see that minus American odds indicate a favorite, while plus American odds indicate an underdog. Now, hopefully that all makes sense, but let's expand a bit more on why doing these calculations is important when betting. Well, it gives you a good idea of how likely a bookmaker sees an outcome actually being. You can then compare that to your own analysis and assess whether or not it's a value bet. So a value bet simply means the probability of something happening is greater than what the bookmaker's odds imply, meaning you're more likely to win. So an easy example here would be if a bookmaker offered you two to one for heads to be the outcome of a coin toss. Now we know the outcome is 50% likely to be heads or tails, but the bookie's odds imply that it's only 33% that heads will happen. So we should be backing heads every single time. Now in practice, you'll be hard pressed to actually find a bookmaker that generous, but value bets do happen all the time. One extreme example of this is actually a recent FA Cup match between Aston Villa and Liverpool. Liverpool were initially priced at around evens or 2.0 or minus 100, which is an implied probability of 50%, but illness spread through the Villa squad and it became clear that Villa would only field a weakened team. So Liverpool's odds fell dramatically to give an implied probability that they would win around 90% of the time. So if you backed them early enough, you would have had a great value bet on your hands. Now, the keys to finding value bets and consistently backing more winners is a subject for another day and another video, but I hope this video gives you a good idea of how to calculate implied probabilities from betting odds so you can make more informed value bets in the future. Now, this is actually something that our elite tipsters on betting expert do every single day. Just take a look at some of these examples from the Trollman Shah and see how the odds have changed from when he posted the tip 
and what they are now. And if you want to test out your own betting theories, comment below with your upcoming value bets or post your predictions like the Trollman does in our free to play tipping competitions on Betting Expert that do have cash prizes on offer, by the way. Now, we've also put together a handy chart that covers the majority of betting odds and their implied probabilities on the Betting Expert Academy. Just click the link below for that. But for now, thanks a lot for watching. And as always, please do gamble responsibly.